so now that we have information on WWE 2K24 and when it releases, now we have all the additions and we have all the options for pre-orders. Now, this video is about which one should you get. Should you get the, uh, there's like four different editions, but if there is, uh, but only, but one of those editions pertains to if you have uh, a current gen console, a PS5 or an Xbox Series S, and that would be the cross-gen bundle, which is only $10 above the standard edition. We're going to get into that. So the standard edition, if you pre-order it, this is if you're pre-ordering in general. Uh, you get the Nightmare Family Pack. Everyone gets this. This is just what everybody gets if you're uh, pre-ordering. And uh, you're going to get to play the game on March 7th when the game releases. Um, <clears throat> sorry. I believe you also can get one month of Peacock... Uh, yeah, one month of Peacock. So you get one month of Peacock, and, and this is if you're pre-ordering it, but I'm also going to be explaining how uh, maybe you might want to wait for discounts for the game months down the line. But, you know, if you guys want to pre-order and you're choosing which one you want to pre-order, the standard edition, all you really get is uh, a Peacock and the Nightmare Family Pack, and you play the game on March 7th. So, again, that is a $59.99 price, and the Cross Den Digital Bundle will make it $69.99 in USD. In Canada, it is a lot more expensive. Now, the Deluxe Edition, and this is with uh, Bianca Belair and Rhea Ripley on the cover, so this is a little bit different. You get everything that I just said before, so you get the one month of Peacock, and then you get the Nightmare Family Pack, but the Deluxe Edition actually includes the Season Pass, which is five DLC packs, My Rise Mega Boost, Supercharger, Rhea Ripley and Bianca Belair My Faction Gold Cards, and Rhea Ripley and Bianca Belair Alternate Attires. Now, that looks like that's what it is, but that that's pretty good, But and that's priced at, uh, you know, $99. And I, it looks like you can get a physical copy of that, which is pretty cool. Um, I might actually want, want to pick one up just for, you know, to have, like, nice nice little covers, even though I kind of play digitally with these games. But, um, yeah, uh, that, that looks pretty good. That stuff definitely looks pretty good. And I think this is what a lot of people are going to choose if they want to go a little bit above the standard edition. It is $99 in uh, USD. I just had to double check that really, really quick. I just wanted to make sure that that was true. And then you have the 40 Years of WrestleMania Edition. They kind of spoil you here. Um, but I forgot to mention something in the Deluxe Edition. Uh, you get to play three days early. So you get to play at March 5th. Sorry about that. I forgot to mention that. But also in 40 Years of WrestleMania, you get to do the same thing. You get to play a three-day early access. You get all the del uh, the deluxe edition content, and this in this case you get a 40 years of WrestleMania pack. However, that I don't think that that releases um, on the first day of the game. I I, I think, but it's a yeah, it's going to be post-launch. So, but what you do get is showcase superstars roster unlock, which. I, that that's like my deciding factor personally. I, I I just want that honestly. And then you get the WrestleMania 40 arena, which is interesting because at the time of this recording, WrestleMania 40 hasn't happened yet. But I guess that is why it's going to be post-launch. Uh, Macho Man Randy Savage from WrestleMania 6, Rey Mysterio WrestleMania 22. I believe that is when he uh, did that triple threat match at WrestleMania with Kurt Angle and Randy Orton. Uh, Triple H WrestleMania 30, very interesting that they're doing that. Uh, I hope we get the long-haired version as well. Uh, Charlotte Flair WrestleMania 33, Rhea Ripley uh, WrestleMania 36, and Gold My Faction cards for all cards of the above. And yeah, like I said, that content is going to be announced later, and that I believe is only digital. So that is probably a downside for some of you, because some of you guys I know are going to really like that cover. But, nope, it's only digital. You can only get it digitally. Um, and that that's going to be priced at uh, $119.99. Now, if I was... Now, now I'm going to mention something. These games, for the last couple years, I have seen them always go on sale. They are always discounted. PS Plus always has these little sales for the game. 
if you want one of the more expensive editions, like let's say you want 40 years of WrestleMania, at some point down the line, 40 years of WrestleMania is probably going to be discounted pretty good. So if you want 40 years of WrestleMania, I actually suggest waiting. Me personally, I'm not going to wait because I'm a content creator, so I got to get this content out and I got to get all these, you know, tutorials out for you guys. So I'm getting the 40 years of WrestleMania edition regardless. If you don't feel like waiting, you're a big wrestling fan and you just you just really want it, obviously get it. I mean, at the end of the day, it's up to you. However, if I wasn't a content creator, um, I actually probably would go with either the cross-gen bundle or the uh, deluxe edition. But I don't think you can really go wrong with 40 years of WrestleMania. If I were you, I mean, I might just wait a couple months down the line or whenever it's discounted. And that's my answer um, to to uh, when you should, uh, what edition you should buy. Uh, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.